Hello, my name is Sydney, Citizess in Seoul Hanok School 2, and welcome back to the Kent Coast Walk. Today we are outside Sittingbourne Station, and we will be walking from Sittingbourne to Konya. This will take us back out along the Milton Creek uh, towards the Swale, and then we'll walk along the Swale and down the Konya Creek. I've got my Sittingbourne Babisham Isle of Sheppey map. We love Sittingbourne on this new development here, right by Sittingbourne train station. We're starting off by heading back to the point where we diverted away from the coast so that we could stop at Sittingbourne train station. It's uh, we just got to go underneath the train tracks and then we'll be there. Under the railway bridge. And there's Morrison's right there. We've come from down there where the train station is and had to cross over here. And then we had to cross over here. And now we had to cross over here to get across to that path there because there isn't a crossing over that side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's quickly cross over. It doesn't look much like the coast, but we're back at the coast, kind of. This is the closest point to the coast at this point, and we're now on to the first section of today's walk, which is very sort of like industrial warehousey, Not so much like industrial chimney, but industrial warehouses and lorries and stuff. Uh, it's basically our escape from Sittingbourne to get back to the water. Passing a new housing estate called Regent's Key next to the busy road and uh, got some beautiful architecture. Wow, I'm so inspired right now. Just look at that, like it's got wheels and everything. First roundabout, we go straight ahead. As we continue along the endless road, we have another sculpture. Look at this, amazing. I do love me some sculptures. At this junction, in the depths of the industrial warehouse lands, we take a left. It's really lovely to see all the flowers that are able to pop up here, even though they're surrounded by the industry. And so many poppies and these purple flowers. This roundabout here marks the end of the industry for today, and we're going to take a left turn down Gas Road in a second. But first of all, we're going to take a little detour to the right down Station Way as I've learnt there's a secret cultural building down here or a church that has been forgotten to time and I'm very interested in seeing what it looks like. Peeking through the trees there. Oh, I'm excited. I don't think many people know about this place. They've got a Greyhound Stadium here, or Sittingbourne FC. And a Pikachu! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! It's Pikachu! We ignore the minions, but look, Pikachu! And just here is the entrance. I think it's called Merston Church? Wow, there it is. The remains of Merston Church. Here's the sign at the entrance. They have a website and uh, an arts and heritage community project. This site is a scheduled ancient monument. Fascinating. I think it's amazing, despite the fact that it's been surrounded by industry over time, on all sides pretty much, and a, a stadium. This ancient church has managed to survive.
had my breakfast there. What a lovely place. Definitely recommend this if you're in the area. Such a hidden gem. Now, onto the coast. Heading down Gas Road now. And we have a sign for the Saxon Shoreway. And I can see Milton Creek just at the bottom there. Mum wants me to point out these red flowers. <laughs> they are quite nice. <laughs> Here we are, the Milton Creek. A lot higher up than last time. Oh, I'm so excited to be back by the water. Let's not step too close to the edge there. Well, there's the Swale Way. We went underneath that on the other side last time and walked through that lovely um, nature area at the end of last walk, which was beautiful. Wow! It's always... I just love that feeling when you get back to the water after being away from the water for a little while. It wasn't even for that long this time, but it's just, it just feels good to be back by the water. Got beautiful blue skies for today's walk. Ahead of, us. <laughs> ahead of us. There is there's a dark cloud there, but not in front of us. I feel like we're going through someone's property here, but the map says this is where the public right of way goes. Scary dog there. But we don't continue this way. We we'll turn to the left because I can see a Saxon shoreway sign there. There we go. Um, are you okay, Mum? Oh no, it looks a bit overgrown. Bumble, oh, bumblebee. It's a bumblebee. Oh, so cute and fluffy. Right, it's a bit overgrown, but we're making our way through. There was some thistles back there, but they only spiked me a little bit. They're stinging nettles. Scary stinging nettles. Ah. Made it through the spiky. You got the Swale Way and Rhythm Dock behind it. <gasps> People! That's the path we walked last time. Look at this magic! It's like a carpet of daisies. A very clear look at the path last time there. I remember looking over from that side and seeing there was lots of rubbish down here. But we can't see the rubbish, so that's nice. I'm a bit concerned about that. Hope we can get through. That was um, a little bit intense. I managed to get through without being stung, I think. But uh, I just got really scared whenever there was a stinger nettle close to me. But the path looks clear this side, and we're about to go underneath the swale way. Under we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> this prickle plant scared me. I thought it was a stinger nettle. Huh? Yeah. Did it get you? <laughs> oh, I can see Rhythm Docks over there on the other side of Milton Creek. This is a really chill location. I, I would sit here and have a picnic. Let's head on along the Milton Creek. We'll be at the swell in no time. This is horrible. There's <laughs> so many stinger nettles. I think this might be a winter walk. 
I'm surprised to say that. But if you don't want all these plants and stinging nettles, then maybe winter is best. It's beautiful around here. But I'm having a bit of a panic because I don't like stinging nettles very much. Now that is a really cute view of the end of the Milton Creek. And you see the open swale out there. Oh, I'm excited. And the Isle of Sheppey is on the other side, very clearly. Oh, a broken gate of sorts. Let's go through here. I notice we've got some wildlife ponds, lakes, etc. here. I'm sure there's so many birds and other wildlife that live here. So we get towards the swale. I can see Elmley there. That's Elmley Hills. Obviously Ridham Docks or Dock. Isle of Sheppey all over there. You can see as far as Whitstable in the distance. Mum just spotted an oyster catcher nest right there. They probably have eggs. We made it to the swale! I'm so happy! We've done section one of this walk, the Milton Creek section, which I suspect will be the hardest section with all those nettles. Now it should be like, just a clear path all the way along the swale and then down Conya Creek. And you can see the Sheppey Crossing and Ridham Dock, and these little islands here are called the Lilies, apparently. On the other side is a uh, Elmley Hill, an Elmley, and out to sea along the swale. Listening to the birds and the atmosphere of this place is so relaxing. I got really stressed going along Milton Creek, and now I can just sort of take a step back. We're on a wide open grassy path with beautiful views and the sound of the birds and the wind and it's helped clear my head and make me just make me a lot more chill after that stressful time back there. I know it might seem a little bit over dramatic to some people, but you know, it's, uh, people have phobias, uh, I think, and I, mean, I just happen to be scared of stinging nettles and mushrooms. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That guy was very friendly, had a little chat on his bike. Um, hope he fares well a bit oh, when he gets the stinging nettles. Uh, he told us that the path is a little bit trodden up by horses, so that'll be interesting. We've arrived at Elmley Ferry. And this is where they used to have a ferry service going from Elmley Island across to the mainland. We didn't get to see this on the Elmley side as there wasn't a public right of way there. Or at least we couldn't find the path to get there. But we can see it from this side. And there's some remains of boats. And you can see where the road used to go to connect to the ferry. And let's get a little bit closer and have a look. I think this is where it was. Probably went straight across. Mum's gone down there to look for treasure, I think. <laughs> we had our lunch at Elmley Ferry, which is very nice and relaxing. Now to head towards Konya. I'm a little bit scared about these clouds behind me, but hopefully we get there before any rain happens. Thank you. 
the second section which was the swale section and we are by Konya Creek the mouth of it wow and it's not very far to get into the village or hamlet of Konya so it's the last stretch really I'm quite excited for this bit Konya is a very uh, posh little hamlet with a marina I think let's uh, check it out Something I'm noticing the further along the swale we've been getting is that it's smelling more and more salty like the sea and the mud that forms the banks of the swale is becoming more and more sandy in colour. So I think as we continue along, especially next time between Konya and Or, it will really we'll start to see more and more features of the seaside. We had a very high tide at the start of the walk with Milton Creek, uh, which means that Konya Creek is low tide, or lower tide, and a lot of it is just dried up. Well, not dried up, but muddy, and not at the, the peak of its height when at high tide. The people in those cars in the field there are flying uh, the model planes in the sky. Fascinating. Our first Konya Creek kissing gate, but you can go around it as well. Just like all the rest, all of them seem to have ways to go around. Fantastic view of Konya. Look at all the buildings, and you can see the marina there as well. Some lovely baa -ba sheeps with their lambs. A kissing gate that we have to use. Oh no, I would told you to get it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. I think this is a lie, because I calculated the distance to Sittingbourne and it was about six or six point five miles rather than five miles. Apparently it's 6 miles to Faversham, and 45 to Dover. Swale Marina, private property, keep out. This is a marine watch area. They really want to keep people out of there. <laughs> the path is forced to go all the way around the marina. We've just come out of our path there, which went all the way around the marina, and uh, up this way here. You can see the marina and like the whole blocked offness of it where all the rich people go. And we are going down this road, which should take us to the ship inn where we finish our walk. For anybody interested, at this point you can take a path which takes you to Tenham, and there's a train station in Tenham, it's about a mile away from here. But we've parked our car in Konya, so. We'll take a left turn here, down here, where our car is parked, and where the ship inn is. Here we go. 
the ship in. Hopefully they'll have a space for us to have a quick drink, because we're very thirsty. We managed to get into the ship in and they're only doing drinks, which is fine because we're very thirsty. I ordered orange juice. Mum and Emma got Diet Coke. I'm looking forward to it arriving. Orange juice has arrived. <laughs> mm. I needed that so badly. So, we're done with the walk, had our drink, very lovely. Other than the first bit, I thought that this walk was really really good, especially the part along the swale and the part down Konya Creek. It was very enjoyable. There was a car behind my mum. Um, next time, uh, also this is the ship in I'm standing next to. Uh, next time we're walking from Konya to Or. Uh, that'll be the next part of our in and outy of the creeks. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to leave in the rainbows.